The world is large, but we make many differences on the surface. Most people look at the little differences on the surfaces. <laughs> so mathematics and design are, are both expressions of the human creative spirit.
What's the big deal? Just poke a hole, 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 and pull it through. Like a basketball. Do you think allowing self-intersections makes it easy? The Thurston Sphere Eversion is just multiple copies of a single fundamental patch. This fundamental patch is what's actually being turned inside out. First, we corrugate the patch. Then, we push the top towards the bottom. In this awkward position, we twist the patch, like so. Finally, we undo the pushing and the corrugating. The full version is 16 exact copies of this patch, rotated to cover the whole sphere. So, to understand the whole version, it's enough to understand a single patch. Here's what the fundamental patch looks like at the beginning of the twist stage, which is the third stage. The north pole of the sphere has been pushed towards the south pole, and uh, some twisting has begun around the middle of the sphere. The out outer face of the sphere is red and uh, the inner face of the sphere is blue. The twisting stage turns the outer red parts into inner parts, and uh, it turns the inner blue parts into outer parts. The initial sphere was red on the outside and blue on the inside. So after the version, the sphere must be blue on the outside and red on the inside. The fundamental patch covers 1 16th of the whole sphere. It goes from the North Pole to the Equator. If we want to go all the way from the North Pole to the South Pole, we just reflect the fundamental patch along the Equator. This way. The result is two exact copies of the patch. One copy goes from the North Pole to the Equator, and uh, the other copy goes from the Equator to the South Pole. Now, we have two copies of the fundamental patch, so we are covering one-eighth of the sphere, from North Pole to South Pole. Keep covering the sphere, we just copy this slice like so. Now we have uh, one fourth of the sphere. The rest of the version is just more copies of the same thing.
We are halfway through the sphere now. This is how eight copies of the fundamental patch look like. Four copies on the upper hemisphere and uh, four copies on the lower hemisphere. The other half of the version is eight more copies of the fundamental patch. The Thurston Sphere eversion begins with a good old parametrization of the two dimensional sphere. The parametrization of the two dimensional sphere begins with a circle, aka the one dimensional sphere. The circle begins with the circular functions, cosine and uh, sine. And uh, the circular functions begin with the deep, elusive idea of arc length, which ultimately relies on the logical properties of the continuum and the axiomatics of infinity. Our journey begins on the 2D plane.